So this hunt all sort of started back in late autumn when myself and the wife were taking a wee stroll up the road. We noticed a lot of magpies mooching around the fields um, close to a local farm where I've got permission to shoot over. So I made a mental note that uh, the next time I was off work and the weather was suitable that uh, I would come up and set the hide up and hopefully get one or two. So as you can see I've got the little pop up hide I use quite often. Um, I think it's called the bush chair hide and I've set it up in a fairly overgrown corner of the field and then I take a, a camouflage net and wrap it around it. It's one of the old uh, Daben nets. It's sort of got an autumn theme to it I suppose. I don't know what they call it. Why it has a white stripe down it I don't know. Maybe it was a, a second I bought as it uh, was at a game fair and it came fairly cheap. I always intended to uh, take a bit of spray paint or something and try and get rid of that white line down the base of it. But it seems to work anyway. It's I just use it to sort of break the hide up and make it look you know, like one big bit of bush. So with the hide up and all, I left a box of pellets and a few energy bars in case I get peckish and then lift the rifle and put it into the hide. Now I usually use a PC powered BSA Super 10 and .22 caliber for the, this sort of thing. But today I decided to lift the spring powered HW97 and 177. So happy enough with the hide, I decided to set the bait out. I usually set the bait out for this sort of thing at, at about 25 yards. Now the stick it's just really a range marker plus I can take a shot or two at it to check the zero of the rifle. As usual my bait is a dead rabbit just split open and set out looking as if uh, Something has killed it during the night and left it lying. That's if I can find a pocket knife. So I'm hoping that the bait itself is good enough to attract the magpies down and I head back to the hide. I get the shooting stick set up and of course the rifle loaded. Now the hide is let's say not on the big side it's quite snug when you get set up and it works quite well with a PCP because all you have to do is work the bolt to cock the gun but with a spring part gun you need a wee bit more room to get the uh, barrel or the under lever in this case cocked and the gun loaded and then pushed back out through the front of the hide again. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Now to use the spring powered air rifle with the shooting sticks I don't actually shoot the rifle off the shooting sticks. Instead before I go to take a shot I lift the rifle off the shooting sticks and wedge my forward hand in between the wire of the shooting sticks and the bottom of the rifle so that the rifle's actually sitting on something soft instead of the hard shooting sticks and it seems to give me no zero shift at all and works quite well for me. So I'm all set up and the waiting begins and as you can see I got a little bored and took a shot at the stick just to make sure everything was zeroed. But nothing appeared for over an hour so I decided to lift the dead magpie that I had brought with me for a decoy and set it out into the field to see if that would help encourage the magpies. Because I could see them in the distance, two, three hundred yards away, but nothing seemed to be interested in the dead rabbit. So 
So, you guessed it, within about 15 minutes the first magpie arrived. But he came down so quietly that I never even noticed he was there until he opened his mouth and started making a racket. But by the time I got the rifle up and into my shoulder, he was quite fidgety and before long he disappeared before I ever got a shot off. So another 10 minutes later, some more birds arrived and they seemed to be flitting back and forth over the top of the decoy but nothing seemed to be, um, let's say, biting the bullet and landing where I can get a shot at him. Finally the birds seemed to be coming down and staying down long enough for me both to get the camera and the rifle on them. But they were quite agitated at the sight of that other magpie I set up as a decoy. But my patience paid off and I put the first bird in the bag with a shot to the back of the head. Of course this sent the rest of the magpies scattering all over the place. Now came the delicate process of trying to draw the rifle back into the hide and cocking it again in such a confined space but I managed to do it. I was worried the whole process might give my presence away to the magpies but it worked out alright. And again, thankfully it wasn't too long to the magpies got their courage up again and started to come back. Where I managed to take a second one, again with another headshot. I might have my reservations about a 177 with heart shots and birds, but that definitely drops in no problem at all with a headshot. I managed to uh, wedge the underlever up against my thigh to make sure it was uh, held open while I loaded the pellet into the breech. After a while this buzzard looked as if it was going to come down and lift my decoy but seemed to change its mind at the last minute for some reason. It must have been half an hour more before uh, another magpie arrived. I had to give him a few moments before uh, I took the shot just to make sure I cleared my camera.
things quieting down at that point so I decided to change the uh, decoy pattern if you want to see if it would uh, excite the magpies back into range again Sure enough, the magpies were interested, but again, they started this coming down, landing, making a bit of noise, and then flying off again before I ever got the uh, rifle on them. Then I thought I was going to get a grow at this uh, hooded crow, but he left in an awful hurry for some reason. Well, believe it or not, I did manage to get a fourth magpie. But for some reason, I forgot to press record on the camera. So, a bit fed up and frustrated with myself for missing the opportunity on film, I decided to call it a day. Anyhow, I think the magpies had had enough by that stage. See what we've done for the morning. One, two, three, and four. And, uh, I'm not sure which one of these I actually shot off camera. And it happens now and again, but I forgot to press record for some reason. But uh, maybe it'll come up in the action camera. No, it didn't, as the battery had and died. The first ones, that's a headshot too. A decoy bird and another headshot and let's see yep all headshots all about just under 25 yards so not too bad four birds three on camera only unfortunately but a nice morning so I usually tidy the place up after me, once I'm finished, pick up all the dead birds I've shot. Farmer doesn't want to see them lying about anyway, and if I don't use them for a decoy, I can always put them into a thick hedge somewhere for the foxes to have later. So, four birds for the morning, not a bad result, especially since I'm using the old technology spring-powered air rifle. <laughs> 